I've always felt different. I, I've always felt left out, a little on the edge, as if you're looking in, but you don't really belong. On my birthday, Dad insisted that I get one driving lesson, because he knew I really wanted to drive. We would go to the eye specialist to have our eyes checked. After that, I would go down to the police station and get my provisional driving license. Hillary has her eye exam, I have mine. And then he asked me what I was doing for my 17th birthday. And that's when I said, I'm gonna learn how to drive. And that's when he turned to my mom and said, why doesn't she know yet? And then I said to him, but well, I don't understand what you're talking about. It's Hillary who can't drive, it's not me. And he goes, no, you can't drive, Caroline. You have the same condition. You are at the level of being legally blind. You have the same condition as your sister. There was di so many different feelings, like <laughs> going up and down inside my system. I learned how to, that great expression, fake it until you make it. I learned the process of projecting confidence, projecting everything was okay. If you were to draw a picture of me, I would be like this. And I'd be smiling and there'd be disco music dancing, but I'd be doing this fighting my way through life. Hopefully sparkles would be coming off me, but all this moving and doing. And I very quickly, hard to admit it, went into workaholic mode. I don't think that's unusual for many social entrepreneurs. And I just threw everything that I had into work. And never wondering why. And why was I happy to run out of the house at five in the morning and not come home till midnight? You know, there was no balance. So when well-being came, I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. I said, okay. There's one thing that's really important to explain me and my behavior is, if anybody swims at night in the sea with phosphorus, you know, the phosphorus is like diamonds in the sea, or a firefly, or a glow worm, I will always focus on that one tiny piece of light. The thing that happened in well-being for me, it gave me a place to stop hiding under this sort of archetype of positivity, solution, social entrepreneur, I'm a survivor, you know, it, it stopped because I heard other people going through very similar things to myself. And when other people would speak, I'm hearing myself and listening to them and listening to their mistakes and going, but why would you do that? And you're going, but why would I do that? Though, yes, it's great that I can believe in hope and be positive and solutions and phosphorus. That's all very well, but actually what well-being for me, it allowed me to stop. It's so much more peaceful to live in an integrated way that you're the same person that turns up in front of a camera as you are in front of your mom who puts your arms around your dog or your friend um, or runs with a running partner. And I've, I'm finding that I'm turning up more as myself consistently in any of the roles that I play. But in that journey for self-acceptance, it's just, as you're being kind to other people, you just need to be kind to yourself. And just gentle with yourself.